You know, people often ask me how I got into speaking and coaching, and I have to be honest, it was definitely not planned. As a little kid, I always thought I was going to go into law enforcement, the FBI, or to be a lawyer, but everything for me changed on September 19th in 1998. And that was the day that my dad unexpectedly passed away after a complication from what was supposed to be just a really routine surgery. And as an 18 year old kid who didn't know how to handle loss that painful and deep, I coped the only way I knew how to cope. And for me, that was by emotionally disconnecting. And unfortunately, I emotionally disconnected from everyone in life, including myself for 12 years. I threw myself into my career and used external achievements to really validate myself. I put results over people, I lacked empathy, and I had little awareness in regard to the power of my presence, had on relationships, and even my leadership credibility. And eventually, that behavior really caught up with me. And I had sabotaged a lot of the relationships that were meaningful to me in my life. And it's not easy to say, but looking back, I was selfish. And in about 30, I was let go from a job I really loved. And it would be an understatement to say at that moment in time that I felt lost. It's often in losing something important that we received the wake up call we needed. And that's exactly what happened for me. And it forced me to really start to reimagine how I wanted to show up differently in life. I knew that if I was going to play bigger, I needed to start making some different choices, get out of my own way, and take full responsibility for the impact my presence makes in this world. So I got some help. I asked for some really candid feedback. I sat in some discomfort until I learned what I needed to learn. I did the hard work to be a better leader of myself so that I could be a better leader of others. And now I get to take all of those lessons, along with a master's degree in education, certifications in coaching and emotional intelligence and body language to really empower people to make their voice and presence matter. I don't take that responsibility lightly. So whether I'm on a stage speaking to thousands of people, coaching leaders one-on-one, -on -one, leading virtual workshops, or even just building a leadership development experience for a company, my hope is that people can see themselves in the stories that I share, feel inspired to show up better in their lives, and walk away with tangible actions on how they can lead, love, and communicate better in all parts of their lives.